Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up, sponsored by I'm a Fancy PYC at Oklahoma Equine Reproductive Center. Buyers. Welcome to Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up. On this edition of the show, we'll spend quite a bit of time at Hialeah, which carded multiple stakes on both Saturday and Sunday. Let's begin, though, at Sunland Park in New Mexico for the only graded race of the past week, the KOFX Radio Handicap. This Grade 2 event is for older horses at 350 yards. Sunday's purse, $50,360. It was a fairly wide-open wagering race, and the finish was highly competitive as well. Number five, down with the quickness, finished well to eclipse the seven, zooming away. And number four, Pajarita Sita, to win by a neck. Bred and owned by Terry Smith. Down with the quickness is a New Mexico bred by Be Real Quick. Out of the lanes, Leinster Mayor, one desperate lady. Alonso Rivera, the winning jockey, for trainer Willie Padilla. Down with the quickness has won five of his last seven starts. Boosts his earnings to nearly $136,000. The time, 17.07 seconds. In South Florida, Hialeah carded a pair of rich races on Sunday, the Maturity and Derby. Let's take a look at the Maturity, offering a purse of $204,715. Four-year-olds went the classic 440 yards here. From the trials on December 28th, Daytona B was the fastest and the favorite at 8-5. to five. They're off in the Hialeah Maturity. Toward the inside, it's Daytona B who gets the first call, right alongside El Macho Prieto Boy. Max Cartel is surging and dashing for a prize. Begins to motor down the outside. Quick Dynasty and Carter. Here's Quick Dynasty surging out wide. Dashing for a prize between them. Also coming on is Jesse's first down. It's Jesse's first down. The stewards looked at the stretch run but took no action here. Number nine, Jesse's first down had been second in five of his nine prior career starts. But the Texas bred breaks his maiden in this spot under Rodrigo Vallejo, who picked up this mount after the trials. Judd Curl trains the son of FDD Dynasty and the Mr. Jess Perry mare Jess a classy lady. Jesse's first down races for his breeder Ted Abrams. Quick Dynasty under GR Carter ran second with Daytona B third. The winner's time a quick 21.35 seconds, a 102 speed index. Sunday's richest race was the $417,575 Hialeah Derby. These newly turned three-year-olds went 400 yards and qualified in eight trials on December 27th. Easily the fastest qualifier was Moon and the Eagle. And he was the nine to five favorite. From the outside, Moonshine Wagon wins the break, sees the win, moves to challenge, and sees the win and Shanley Jackson take the lead. Moon and the Eagle put to pressure by Amaro and down the outside, Kitty Cat Galore B, but sees the win, has the lead. Moon and the Eagle runs at the leader on the outside, sees the win. The inside rail was to his liking and sees the win takes his third straight under Shanley Jackson. Now an earner of nearly $256,000 from six starts. Sees the win as a Texas bred colt by PYC Paint Your Wagon and the Mr. Jess Perry mare Jess and Illusion. Sees the win's maternal grandmother as champion and AQHA Supreme Racehorse Indigo Illusion. Matt Frazier, the trainer, for owner Glenn Graff, sees the win has been a Heritage Place sale purchase twice initially for $30,000 as a yearling, and then for $40,000 last year by Graf. The winner was bred by Jerry Windham. The final time is .045 seconds off the track record, 19.272, a 107 speed index. I'm a fancy PYC. He earned $454,000 plus, qualified to the All-American Futurity, started six times and won five including the Grade 3 Remington Futurity. I'm a fancy PYC at Oklahoma Equine Reproductive Center. 
We stay in the southern portion of the U.S. for the rest of the week's stakes recaps, as Hialeah hosted four more added money events, and Louisiana Downs ran the Billy Montgomery Stakes. Race View Network's Weekend Wrap-Up, sponsored by I'm a Fancy BYC at Oklahoma Equine Reproductive Center. Thanks for spending some of your free time with us as we're bringing you the world's biggest races and fastest horses. I'm Jim Byers. For all involved with the show, see you next time on Race View Network's Weekend Wrap-Up.